you are welcome to my channel. Today we bring you a video of a man that claimed that he generates electricity from a tree with a bulb. According to the man who claimed that he lives in Enugu, Nigeria, he watched a YouTube video where a man in Kenya demonstrated this by even wiring the tree and generated electricity. And the man in Kenya claimed that that is what they use in powering their houses in Kenya and the street. And he further said that he saw another video where a Nigerian man likewise did the same, but rubbish the claim that electricity can be generated from a tree. So to prove his curiosity, he tried to do the same thing. So I will allow you to watch this video and see the outcome of the man experiment. Thereafter, you can drop your comment in the comment section of this channel. Yeah, people of the earth and people of Nigeria, people of the Southeast, I greet you. Well, I'm here out of curiosity to experiment and explore what I saw in a YouTube, in a video. Somebody from Kenya explained something that has to do with Moringa 3. What you can have, that you can have light, source of power, source of power from Moringa 3. And after that explanation, somebody again from Nigeria here went also to a show us from Moringa and let that rubbish to what the man said. And out of that curiosity, I've come to this compound now where you have various types of trees around, but particularly where I noticed that there is a, a Moringa tree right inside the compound. And this is why I want to also, because I am that kind of somebody with an inquisitive mind. I now say, okay, let me just show you people. This is knife, the knife I've used in cutting just part of this uh, Moringa tree here. And with the energy bulb, I touched it. I pressed it, there's no light. I couldn't see any light on it. Then when I took rechargeable uh, bulb, I touched it and it produced full light. This is Moringa tree. And I'm telling you here, I'm Reverend Osio Biona, here talking to you from Enugu, there's light. But even when I finish up this, because the man of the Kenya told us how he, he showed us how he used wire. And wired, opened up this Moringa tree and wired it and it produced light. That even in the night, it produced more uh, volume of light that they can even grind with it. And he even went further to tell us that their estate, they use this Moringa tree now to power light. So whatever it is, I want researchers, I'm a novice to all this electrical thing or electrical engineers or so, go into work and get us this so that we can get off from this epileptic supply of light. Because uh, uh, coincidentally, in this particular compound, after this experimentation and I saw it, I felt that like I should also try other trees. Whether well, the same thing can happen. Then I left, follow me up, I'll show you. This is mango tree. I cut the same mango tree. This is energy, energy bulb. It's not showing anything. And when I came up and used this uh, rechargeable lantern, I touched it. It gave full light. Just putting it on that to open something. This is mango tree. I went again immediately. Follow me up. I want to. This is a native pier. I want to the native pier in this compound. And I open it up a bit. And this is, look at. This energy light, because of what it has brought in, because the rain just fell in, is still lightning. Then I touch this again, this energy bulb, there's no light. Then I took this one, again, the rechargeable lantern, I touch this again, it gave me full light. Full light. This is native pear tree, Ube, Ubibu, and Arachegi, Arachoka. This is the tree. I went again, I tried to see, this is coconut. The one that he has produced from there is still here now, I'll show you, because it's rechargeable like that. I went again and touched this, cut off this uh, coconut tree. I touched all this. This is energy. This is an uh, energy bulb. It didn't show any light. Then when I took up this rechargeable uh, bulb again, I touched it. It gave me full light. This is the coconut. And then I went to the tree, or orange tree, again. This is orange, I mean, orange tree. Tangerine. I caught the same thing, 
I opened it up and I told the energy. There's no light, you can't see any light anyhow. Then when I touched again this uh, rechargeable bulb, I saw full light. So there are a lot of trees here, different kinds of trees that I've ex 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 experimented, which means that it's up to us now. It means we have to get people research, find out that the Kenyan man who now opened up part of these trees and then wired it and he gave light and he says in their estate, he's giving them full light. So we, this will even encourage people to plant trees in your villages, in your squares, everywhere. Find out how you can wire these things and put uh, this energy, if it is only energy bulb, but I believe that because of the wire, the energy bulb can give light. Because without, even if there's difficulty, it cannot give you light without the wire. But the rechargeable uh, bulb, whatever they use in putting it inside, you know, you are educated, you are electrician, you are electrical engineer, you are whatever. There must be something they put in there, which means that God has already provided things for us that we can now go on and explore it. If you go, all the trees here, I've tried them, they are all giving you light with a uh, rechargeable bulb. And with energy bulb, it's not giving you light, which means by the time you wire it, you can use it. You can also explore and experiment and they find a way you can put it to your house, like the chairman has done, so that there will be light everywhere. It means that the 40%, if they like them, increase the tariff to 40%, 100%, or whatever. It will not perturb us. God has given us something. Let's go into work. God bless you. Plant a tree to gain people. We can see the live demonstration of this man's experiment and the result he actually got from using the bulb to test various types of trees in his compound, like a mango tree, orange, guava bush mango and so on so it means that there is something there's a link there's a link between electricity and tree which people can take off from there for further research record that sometimes ago there was another video of a man in ekiti state nigeria that was seen generating electricity from a stone and this electricity is what he used in his house he even use it to demonstrate how he path, how he power his uh, sound system and all the bow, all the bulb in the house. So I think this is something that can be explored to solve the energy crisis in the country. And this should be a challenge to Nigerian the researchers and the government to exploit how they can develop on this and use it to solve the energy crisis in the country and also individual can leverage on this by doing more research and look at how they can take this to, to the next level and improve on what has been discovered so far so that at least the domestic energy consumption can be can be exploited with the use of trees stone and some other things in our environment what do you think to this? Let know your reaction to this or your contribution in the comment section of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Until I come your way some other time. God bless you and remain blessed.